During the pandemic, Hoover the Goat has become a welcome surprise at teleconferences. Hi, Hoover. When he came into Sweet Farm, he uh, uh, did not trust humans. He was in really poor health. Before the coronavirus pandemic, Hoover and the other animals greeted visitors in person at Sweet Farm, a California animal sanctuary. When COVID-19 happened, the, um, we uh, had to rethink how we were continuing to execute on our, on our education uh, approaches. Once and the virus struck, founders of Sweet Farm, Nate Solpeter and his wife, Anne Sweet, could no longer give farm tours, which accounted for almost 70% of their revenue. So they came up with the idea to send their animal ambassadors into people's homes, virtually. The initiative is called Goat to Meeting. For about $100, a sweet farm animal will attend your online conference. It's a sweet escape for people stuck at home in front of their computer screens. For a brief moment, they are transported to open fields with sweet animals. The funds from Goat to Meeting go to rehabilitate these rescues. They come from a variety of situations, everything from factory farms, live markets, animal abuse, neglect, um, shut down rooster fighting operations. Rescue is part of Sweet Farm's mission. During go-to meetings, Nate Solpeter also shows how to buy or grow food locally, how to cook sustainably in a way that is better for the environment. His foundation helps bring awareness on the dangers of global meat industries and wet markets. After Sweet Farm made this possibility, I decided that would be a really good thing to help um, bring a little bit of joy to our team meetings, as well as to support an issue that was near and dear to the hearts of many of the people on our team. Elaine Turville, a government consultant, surprised her colleagues by bringing the farm animals online. Along the bottom, I could see everybody's video and I could hear kids in the background going, mom, look at that goat or look at that cow. It it was awesome. So you had all these people who had been stuck inside, mainly in urban areas, who had only seen their family and were sort of like craving this interaction to be able to see the animals. It, it was amazing. Um, we received so many positive comments about how people felt, how it made them feel more connected to each other because then they could talk about the animals. We're happy that uh, we can share it with people. Uh, it puts smiles on people's faces. They can get out, stretch their own wings, even if it's through a video screen. Um, you know, learn some things, ask their questions. It's so, so important that, you know, people recognize that we're all in this together. Um, that can't be stated enough, especially at a time like this. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.